Hi folks, Mark here, Views from Mark, and today's video is coming to you from London, once again, where I am heading back to the Burlington Arcade. I stayed down last night because they had a 60th anniversary of Bond event taking place in the arcade, um, and Amiga invited me to come back this morning to have a closer look and potentially get hands-on with some of the props and items that they have on display in their pop-up boutique. So that's where I'm heading now. I'm also going to give you a quick rerun through the arcade to show you some of the new bits and pieces that they've got on display in the arcade, some of the decoration and what have you that is uh, now being installed to kind of celebrate this 60th anniversary of Bond, which is coming up next year. So as you can see, it is a little bit quieter than it was last night at the 60th anniversary event, but you've still got all of the decorations up and the Bollinger bar that you've seen before with that scale DB5. It's really nice what they've done throughout the uh, arcade where they put these Dr. No inspired dots along the length of the arcade um, celebrating the 60th anniversary which is next year technically but um, yeah it's a great touch as you can see as we head down the arcade they've also put in some different art pieces so on the wall here you'll see um, that there is the Goldfinger kind of homage there with Sean Connery, Sean Connery and Pussy Galore um, as we head a bit further down you'll see a nice mural there to George Lazenby uh, with his skis from On Her Majesty's Secret Service and then moving down a little bit further we have Mr Wonderful Eyebrows himself Roger Moore in The Man with the Golden Gun. Um, as I say, they've got all this 60th Bond anniversary decoration going on now, um, which is a really nice touch to the arcade and it adds something fresh and new that, you know, just adds to the display that is already taking place here. And then as we come down, you'll see that there is now a watch face uh, LCD clock up here that is counting down the days the hours the minutes and the seconds to 2022 which will be the 60th anniversary as you can see there 60 years of bond and uh, i believe in a moment we may have the gun barrel shot oh no it's gone to the watch face this is the no time to die watch face um, and that is the time as it is at the moment it's coming up to five minutes to 11. Um, lovely feature as well lovely addition to be added to the arcade um, so yeah that's really cool as we move further down again um, you can see obviously it's a lot quieter than it was last night um, fantastic evening great to meet um, David Arnold Robert Wade and have speeches by Michael G Wilson and Rory Kinnear switching on the lights and uh, getting the festivities started um, as we head further down We'll go past Crockett and Jones uh, with their No Time to Die display, which is great as well. And then, obviously, we come to the classic and the iconic gun barrel installation, which at night time is really something. I mean, it's very trippy as you're heading through this kind of hall of mirrors, heading down through the arcade. Uh, to the far end in the distance and one of the kind of last Bond brands that we have down the arcade just past the gun barrel here is of course Globetrotter who have been cur curating the luggage for Bond since Casino Royale through to No Time to Die 007's luggage of choice so I'm in the Amiga pop-up boutique at the moment and as you can see in front of me they've been very generous and brought downstairs some props from the film which you can see on display upstairs if you pop into the boutique it's well worth a visit so you'll probably all recognize what we've got here obviously we have the control panel from Bond's DB10 Inspector and we have Marco Schiara's uh, Spectre ring. We have Bond's ID card from Skyfall. 
and we also have a Q for quantum lapel pin as well as uh, the note that was handwritten uh, before uh, Bond had to go on the run in Quantum of Solace and also the Universal Exports James Bond's business card. So as you can see these are amazing ex exhibits, it's very rare to be able to get close and personal with exhibits like this. So um, as I say it's really worth coming down to have a look and I really appreciate uh, Amiga for making these accessible to me to have a look at up close and personal. Um, all really great items as you can see. Obviously these are screen used, so these are the ones that are actually used in the films. So they are incredibly rare, incredibly valuable, and as you'd imagine, security is tight, as would be fitting with anything Bond related. Wow, okay, so next up we have some casino chips, which you'll recognize from Casino Royale. All very colorful, got a lovely effect on them. Um, also got poker chips as well from Casino Royale. Um, we've got this, it looks like a Mercedes badge, but it's not. It's um, one of these spikes that fell out of the bottom of the BMW in the car chase for Tomorrow Never Dies, which interestingly enough was shot in Brent Cross Shopping Center, which was doubling for Hamburg. So that's quite rare to see. I've not seen one of these. I think maybe they had them at the Bond in Motion exhibition when it was in uh, London but it's since moved on to Los Angeles. Okay so I've just had the official nod that I can very carefully and it's going to be filmed as, as evidence very carefully pick up this metal looking spike that's from Tomorrow Never Dies because um, believe it or not whilst it looks like metal it is actually wow it almost feels like card or, or paper but it is incredibly light yeah, amazing. Very fragile, as I say, um, but you can see the kind of patina effect on there to, to give it that metal looking finish. Amazing, really light. That's almost as light as the No Time To Die Seamaster, um, made in titanium, of, of course. So yes, these are as well, I've had confirmed, these are the casino chips from Goldeneye. So that iconic scene in the casino in Monte Carlo Pierce Brosnan meeting on the top. Um, these are some of the casino chips that we used in the film there, as well with this holographic kind of effect on the top, as you can see the light changes. And then obviously the Casino Royale poker chips. So there we have it. I mean, that was an amazing experience. A massive, massive, massive thank you to Amiga the pop-up boutique and all the staff there, absolutely top-notch service. Um, and actually being able to get hands-on with some of those props was like a dream come true. I mean, it's every Bond fan's dream to actually get to see those things close up and be able to handle them. Um, so really appreciate it, fantastic service. Come down to Burlington Arcade if you haven't already. If you're in the UK, check out the installation. As you can see, there's the gun barrel coming up on the screen around the watch face. Um, yeah, it's all great. Well worth checking out. There's so much to see and do. Um, but once again, thank you to Amiga. Thank you to Burlington Arcade and uh, keep up the great work. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, hit the notification button so you get a notification whenever I post something new and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks very much.